<laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Tum Tum, no wait. Uh, Tam Tam, no wait. Ten Ten, no wait. Jim Jam, no wait. Uh, it's, it's Tem Tem. It's basically a Pokemon inspired MMO, which is pretty sick. Sounds like it could have some potential. Uh, it is in early access, I believe, currently, but there's a story, so hopefully we can run through that, and then eventually I can do, like, a video game versus for, uh, Tim Tim. Wait, Tem Tem. I'm sure I'm gonna call it, uh, Tam Tam or Pokemon or something until, until farther down the road when I get used to, uh, what I'm doing here. So, pick my body type, pick my skin color. I am a boy. I do have a uh, quite fair skin, and then you pick your style, which is like, do you want to be a, a girly boy, or like a super prancy fancy, or like a normal dude, or a tough guy, internet tough guy. I think uh, I want to be a normal dude. I do lean towards internet tough guy, but only sometimes, so that's good. That's good for the body. Head shape, I guess just has to do with like your chin or whatever. I got like a a face like like that probably. It's not quite that round, not yet, anyways. Uh, then you pick your face. Oh, I like that. This is the default one, which is pretty friendly looking. But yeah, I got the I got the big old bushy eyebrows. Oh, and then I can have my eyes closed, like super Asian. But I'm not I'm not super Asian. <laughs> so girly eyes. Uh. Mean guy eyes, big lips, yeah, I think I'm good with this. Oh, and the eye color. We can do blue eyes just like I have, and then like, make the eyes closed so you can't see my eye color. Ha ha! Trolling! But that's probably good. Hair! Um, not like the widest range of hairstyles, I guess. But that's cool. Oh my god, emo hair. Wow, that's awesome. Um... I'll probably go for something like this. It's the closest to what I actually have. And then, uh, yeah, it's kind of like that dark brown. And then at the ends, it's like a little bit lighter, like that. Sweet. Pick your clothes. You could run around with your nipples out, if that's what you're into. He's got pink little nipples. And, uh, oh, I thought this was like a crop top sweater. That would be hot. That would be so hot. Um, I think we're- this is like an island game, so we should probably go for something like a bit cooler. I lean towards this shirt. Not the muscle tee. You need to have muscles to wear a muscle tee. Um, but this t-shirt is probably about- about accurate. And black, probably? What's the secondary color do? Nothing? Wow, it's fucking nothing. I guess it's for, like, the sweaters and stuff like that. But that's cool. Maybe I'll go like this so I can take advantage of that secondary color. Oh yeah, feeling cool now. And some pants. Wow, there's a good amount of customization. I could run around with no pants at all. That's always fun. Uh, board shorts. Hey, board shorts. Short shorts, my goodness. Track pants. If I was Russian, I'd probably pick the track pants, but uh, board shorts sound good to me. And I actually do like that color combo, so we'll go with that. And then do you want a school bag or you want a, a backpacker bag? I definitely want the backpacker bag, because we're going on a, on a journey, on a long adventure. So I'll make it gray, and then my little yoga mat will be uh, yoga mat colored. You know, those, those ubiquitous yoga mats. And, uh, it knows my name, so that's cool. My pronouns are he and him, of course. And then the voice. I think I'm gonna go with voice one. Voice two is, like, trying a little too hard to be tough. Voice one is enjoyable and happy. Come on, wakey wakey! Hey, what's up? Mom? Is this my mom? Morning, Dayton does. Morning. 
Well, you better wake up fast. They're all waiting for you. Why? Mm -hmm. Ah, you sleepyhead. You really don't remember what day it is. Today, it's... Oh, today's my apprentice eve. Oh. Exactly, my dear. Congratulations. Got the Tempedia. Quintessential device every tamer should have. Tempedia records crucial info. It's basically a Pokedex. Here's your Apprentice Eve present. Oh, it's just what I wanted. For reuse. You're an apprentice now, so you'll be heading to the Academia. So I figure you'll need a good Tempedia. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you know how it works? Yeah, the Tempedia lists all the Tempedia I capture and stores information about him. Professor Constantinos showed us how to use his... Constantinos? Are we on, like, a Greek island? Oh. I think so. Now you have your own. Well, hurry up. They're all waiting for you. Cool. Let's, uh, dig around our room first. I got a little pig. And I got a chair. And I don't think I can interact with anything in here, so... Moving on. TV? Anything? R, F, E, G, Q? I don't know what my interact button is quite yet, so... Whatever. Pick up this knife, dude. You're going on a long adventure. You're gonna need a knife. Just to keep yourself safe. Until we get a Tem Tem. Look at all them Tem Tams. They're pretty cute. It is super Pokemon-esque. But, uh, a little more cartoony. I don't know, I'll probably have to reprogram my, my brain for battling in some ways. I also heard that there's, like, no, um... It's all skill-based. There's no critical hits and shit like that. No missing. So, that should be interesting. Zadar, home sweet home. He's Staten does! Congrats! Hooray! Happy Apprentice Eve, Staten does. Oh. oh my, all of Zadar is here. Yeah, good to see y'all. Congratulations, Staten does. We know this is a big day for you, but we're also gonna miss you. We got your little pocket money for the trip to Academia. It's not much, but we all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbors, but... Dayton does, where's your friend Max? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably right there. Someone calling. Oh, hey, Dayton does. You know, Matt, is my apprentice Eve, too? Oh. oh, hello, Max. We're waiting for Professor Constantinos. Oh, he was standing right there the whole fucking time. Hey, kids, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Ah, Professor Constantinos. Please take care of Dayton does. Ah, children, they grow so fast, and one day, they're gone. Oh. Don't worry, my dear Aina, I'll drop Dayton does and max off at Academia on my way to university. Cool, can we go with you? We are going with him. Oh. Still a bit too young, oh, to go to university. But you're still too young to go. Who knows, one day if you persevere, you might be able to. What about you, Dayton does? Big plans mm -hmm. for the future? Dayton does isn't that good at handling Temtem, but that's okay, don't worry, Dayton does. You can always stay here and take care of Aina, right? Oh. Max is kind of a dick, isn't he? Hey! Max, Dayton does, come with me. We'll drop by my lab to grab a couple things and we'll be on our way. Take care, Dayton does. I love you. I know you do great. Come on, kids, let's go! Let's go! He didn't really wait for me. He's just like, okay, see you later. I'm out. Oh, F is my interact button. This is Berat. Borat. He talks like Brandar. I wish my kids were more like you. Wow. Don't let them hear you, hear you say that. Congrats on your apprentice Eve! Pepe and I wish you the best! Goodbye, little child. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Maybe you can, Tex... Texel. Congratulations! Well done. Now I understand why Professor Constantinus was so keen on teaching you. Okay, that's enough uh, ego stroking for the moment. Let's go rob somebody's house. Hey! F is my interact button. Can I interact with anything? Still no. Well, hopefully that'll change in the future. One of the things I liked about Pokemon was reading all the little tidbits and things. But we can't do that here. How about this? How about this? How about this? Oh! There is something! A balm! Hooray! Restores 25 HP. Nothing to read on the board. Mm -hmm. Hey, it does. Come here! Oh, them's the oh. Tam Tams! Them thems, tem tems. As you know, this is your apprentice Eve, meaning you have already learned the basic theory about tem tem. Now you're ready to handle your first tem tem. See those glass jars? Each contains a different tem tem from all around the archipelago. Hey, teach, do you have any digital? Oh. Digital tem tems are a very recent innovation, my young friend. They're very seldom found. Ha! I have one. Cool, it's like a robot. Where'd you get that? Oh. 
Oh. Doesn't matter, Dayton does. From the fanciest to the humblest of Temtem, it's the tamer that makes all the difference. Temtem tamer. It says Max already has a Temtem. Let's get one for you, too. Take your pick. Ugh, always Dayton get to choose one, and I don't. This guy's not my friend. He's a douchebag. Quiet, please. Go ahead, Dayton does. See which one you like best. Take your time. The first Temtem's always an important moment for every tamer. Ah, yes. I'll take the water type. I guess. Oh. This Hoochick, a mental Temtem. Strong against neutral and melee, but weak against crystal. I brought it from my alma mater in Robertson College. Mental, huh? Neutral and melee and crystal. God, we're gonna have to memorize a whole new type chart. Good lord. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want this Temtem? No! It's not a water type. How about this fire type? Oh. Smazzy, a melee Temtem, strong against earth and crystal, but weak against mental. I won it in a pub gr pub brawl once in Lockbird. Heady days. Are you sure you want this Temtem? No. This is kind of cool, and I like the name Smazzy, but I'm gonna nickname oh. it anyways. Crystal Temtem, strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. And earth. Huh. I mean, I guess fire makes sense. It's kind of grass-ish. But the earth doesn't... I mean, I guess because it's a crystal. Maybe. Strong against electric and mental. And it's not weak against um, fighting or melee. So I guess it's a good pick. It's the best of all the starters. I will take this Temtem. Excellent choice, Dane does. Let's hope so. You got a new Temtem. Crystal. Yay. Cool. Amphibian trait. When attacked with water technique... Gets sped sp special defense or speed? Yeah, speed. Special defense is spadef. Okay, so let's let's rename him. And I'm gonna name it Gulai because that's Tagalog for vegetable. I would probably name it Monsanto, but I don't want to give any credence to that that evil corporation. Time to get a move on, kids. God damn, they're so fast. They're just like, alright, gotta go. Gotta go fast, Sonic says. Mm. I do like this is auto run the whole time, though. I don't have to pick up running shoes or some shit. I'm gonna miss Professor Constantino's. He had the best Temtem reference library outside of Property College. I guess I have to move to Arbury to continue my studies. Yeah, you know, follow somebody around and, and don't forge your own path. That's the way to succeed. Ding does, the teacher's pet. You think you're better than me, don't you? Now you have your brand new Temtem, huh? Let's see what you can do with it. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta fight the robot. Is it electric? I think I'm strong against electric. Ooh! Max! He's got a card. It's not a Pokeball, it's, it's a card. Everything's normal. This is how things go in Temtem land. Okay. So, um... I probably should have looked at the moves. Like death by 100 cuts, but this is just one of them. Grass Blade. Mirror Shell increases Spadef. Nibble is. Yeah, just another damage move. I guess I'm gonna go for Grass Blade. Because hopefully it'll do extra damage. Right? Shum! That did pretty good. Mechanical Heat. Ooh, shit. Yep, I got double damaged. And I know there's not going to be a crit or anything, so I think I just lost this battle. Huzzah. You douchebag, Max. I just want you to know. My poor little tortle. Take that, Dean does. My first victory. Hurrah! <laughs> you won, Max. That digital Temtem of yours really gave you an edge. It's all about the tamer, not the Temtem. Did you say that a minute ago, Teach? Mm hmm. hmm. Oh. Congratulations, Max. Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, Dayton does. You never really stood a chance against Max's Ori. Digital Temtem are a rare and powerful innovation. <laughs> let me take a look at your Gulai. It can use a couple of bandages and some balm. There, oh. all healed. To level the playing field, I have something for you, Dayton does. <laughs> yeah! Give me another one. Another one. You got a new Temtem. 2Y. Yay! Alright, spoil sport. Damage done with multi target techniques is increased by 25%. And it's a wind temtem. Which I don't know what that's strong or weak against. 
it lacks a bit of defense, but uh, yeah, high attack. Cool, let's rename him to uh, Ebon, which is bird in Tagalog. God, I'm getting clever. Two I might, might not look like much, but it's one of the rarest Temtem I've ever found. Take good care of it. I have reasons to believe there's much more to it than meets the eye. Like a transformer! I don't get one of those. You already have your digital Temtem, Max. Still, not fair. My research suggests Two I reacts to certain places of power, but I haven't found any on this island. That's why I'm going back to Arbery to consult with my peers. I have to catch an airship, but I can walk you kids as far as the academia. Oh, we don't need a babysitter. <laughs> Fair enough. Perhaps you can travel on your own. It'll be a way to prove yourselves. Oh. Very well, Dayton does. Max, I'll go ahead and wait for you two in Brickhall de Mar. You two head north and meet me there. Listen up. The path is teeming with Temtem, so have a few Tem cards. Use them to catch capture the wild Temtem. I got eight of them. Mm -hmm. Since they won't go down without a fight, have some balm to heal your Temtem after battle. That's it. Good luck, and remember, I'll be expecting you over Caldemar. Be prudent. Yes, always prudent. Ever the prudent one. Look at all these other folks around, just like hanging out with their Temtem, and they didn't even pick the same one as me. That's a lot of diversity. Well, those two people picked the same one. Puh. Puh. My crystal is strong against the mental energies. Oh. Oh, you talking to these people? Oh, we got the same one! We could be friends now! And this must be Tergasa. It's called Turquesa, and it can't be this. I know how to read a map, Han. Windward Fort must be real close now. Look at the pan sun, girl. That's the other shore. The map turned around. See the sea? That's that side. Oh? Oh dear. Okay, I give up. All this open space is so confusing. we lost. Told you so. We passed that other village, and you still insisted it wasn't on the map. Anyway, let's ask a local. Excuse me, we're quite lost. Can you give us a hand? What's this town called? Uh, this is Sadar. I'm headed to Bertal de Mar. By a knock. A knock? That means child, son, daughter in Tagalog? This, this is creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> what, what culture is this game based on? I know it's made by, uh, Spaniards, so I don't know. I don't know. We're on the southern tip. Told you we've been going the wrong way since Aerosola. Thank you. Looks like we're not going to be do doing any hiking gri gifted bridges, so we might as well enjoy our stay. Yeah. Don't fight, you guys. Just have a good time. Enjoy enjoy the moment together. That's the secret. Oh, hey. Hi, Dayton does. I thought you were in Brakal de Mar. Come to visit Ana. You're such a nice kid. Oh, where do I get that fucking hairstyle? It's awesome. Miguel, good to see you again, Dayton Das. Hope the academia is going great. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. Luis Bueno. Hi, <laughs> Dayton Das. What a lovely send off you had. Hope you're enjoying your first steps as a Temtem Tamer. Tamer. Temtem Tamer, not trainer. We're tamers, not trainers. And I really like that they get the Temtem to follow you around. Ah, uh, Game Freak, take notes, okay? This is how you do an MMO. Well, where's that thingy? Hey, Dayton does. I'm sorry I couldn't attend your big send-off, kid. Oh, I missed you there. It's just I've been looking for that pendant since early morning and I can't find it. I swear if your mom finds out I lost it, I'll never hear the end of it. Where'd you last see it? I was just here by the sea, and, well, it was very warm, so I went for a swim in the Ciara River, and I must have lost it then. I'll find it. Thank you, Dayton does. I really owe you big time if you do. I'll keep looking around the beach, just in case. So, she went for a swim in the river, but she insists on looking by the beach. Okay. I guess whatever. Hi, lady. The Brassian coast is dangerous. Remember to use a balm if you're in trouble. This is not an easy tour. A three-hour tour. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what our first Temtem will be. I'm gonna capture him. Uh-oh. Before we even capture anything, get a little battle. Finally, someone to test my skills against. Hey, Pepe the Fishmonger? Of course. No, I'm Pepe, the best Temtem trainer of Zadar. 
Well, I was expecting someone from the dojo, but I guess you'll do. You're officially an apprentice now. Shouldn't you be helping Fiametta? Sounds, is she looking for me? Well, I'll go home as soon as we're done here. And then, fight. And we get to see some new ones. Bird thing and pig thing. I have bird thing and turtle thing. Alright, well, let's, uh... I guess we could grass blade... You can't really tell what the types are. I guess that's... That's the same. That's similar to Pokemon. You just gotta learn. Oh my goodness. Ooh, half damage. That's bad. And pick and pick use Bamboozle. What does Bamboozle do? Nobody knows. Alright, let's try Peck. Yeah. Sweet. Baharo is knocked out. Failed due to the effects of Bamboozle. Oh. What does Bamboozle do? I gotta capture one of these things so I know what it's supposed to be doing. But now we're two on one. Half damage from Wind Blade. Full damage from gla Grass Blade. Yeah, Grass Blade's pretty sick. And I got that, uh... That nice... That nice typing. It's only weak against fire and... Earth. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that thing might have been fire, but I guess not. Tempt him up! You were in 43 sun things. Hooray! You beat me. Sarah, take me. You're pretty good for a kid, Dayton does. That's right. I'm gonna be the best Tem Tem tra trainer ever. Oh, shit. Hi, young one. Would you care for a little Tem Tem match? <laughs> I guess. Don't bother the students, Orhan. They're probably on their way to academia. You gotta make them late for class. Consider this a practical lesson, then. There'll be times you're fighting two tra tamers at the same time. Or fighting alongside a friend like we always do. Let's see how you fight, though. Fight, though. Let's see how you fight, though. How you fighting, though? How you living, though? Oh, <laughs> it's Audino. <laughs> I'm not against naming uh, Temtem after Pokemon. Let's 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 smash up the level three instead of the level four. Right, right. Windblade. Oh my god. My Temtem are low on health. What a noise. All right, come at me, bro. Shit. So close to the doom. Um, I'm just gonna bomb. Let's bomb everybody up. Dane does use bomb. Oh my god, I accidentally used a card. Rude! Other Temtem tem tem can't be caught. And my ghoul eye was knocked out for such a trespass. Well, whatever, I guess. Ebon can finish this. Scratch. Oh, buddy. Do it. Knock him out the box. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go back to my house to heal up. <clears throat> Shrill voice. Widely used by academia teachers. This is a neutral technique that deafens the whole class. Er, team. Okay. Sweet. Four move slots, just like Pokemon? No problem. Don't hold back, come at us. I did. That's what just happened. Well done. You'll be a great tamer one day. Well, part of me says to go home, but the other part of me says that we, we should capture a Temtem first. To see what we can get. And if I end up fainting, well then that's, that's part of it too. It's part of the learning process. Oh, it's another bird. Another board Pokemon. Well, okay. See if you can survive. This! Ooh, he moves faster even though he's level 2? Half damage. Oh boy. That's ugly. How could this happen to me? Please live. Okay. And I wasted a fucking card. That's so sad. Alright. 
Come on with me, baby boy. Sweet. Paharo was caught. Has the hover trait. Reduce damage taken from Earth techniques. We are going to name it Eat Log. I think that's how you spell it. Because it's a baby bird, and Eat Log means egg. There you go. Basically just caught a Pidgey. It's kind of boring, isn't it? Um, backpack. It's Balm Ebon. Yeah! I want to try and catch something else. <laughs> Come on! Give me the good stuff. Where you at? See, he got something immediately. What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, now there's two of them. Well, I am not. I am not. Run! Come on, I want to catch something else. I don't know how to res my dudes either. I think I do have to run all the way back home. Oh! Shit. It's supposed to be my spot. You come to pick up all that sweet stuff lying around? Well, me too. So tell you what, let's fight. I was just looking for Temtem, bruh. Greedy Tamer. Oh, he's got two of them things. Baboe. Baboemon. Um... I don't have quite enough to do Shrill Voice. So we're going to... Windblade? Was that, like, not very effective? I can't remember. And Eat Log probably is going to need to heal. I want him to get that sweet experience. Because he's just a baby! Alright, go Windblade. Half damage. I did remember correctly. That's not good. Bamboozle. I got bamboozled, bruh. Oh, we can use Shrill Voice now. There we go. How about Stare? Um, yeah, Stare at that guy. Ooh-wee! Everybody's getting bamboozled. Oh, my little baby bird. He's getting beat up. Sometimes we gotta pay the price, though. That's just how it goes. You wanna raise your, your, your Temtem properly? You gotta put some investment. So there, now you're back to full health again. And finish that dude. With the peck. Mmm. Damage itself due to overexertion. Oh, good! And we caught another level. I think... Yeah, I don't want to damage myself due to overexertion, so I'm gonna need to sit around next turn. But I think that's cool. Failed due to the effects of Bamboozle. What is this fucking Bamboozle move? He's got the Bamboozler. Alright, we're going to rest. Gather your strength. And Eat Log could do the pecking. It actually hits pretty good for, like, baby Temtem. Alright. Go for it. Yum, trick! Finish him. I love my little birdies. They're doing good things. They're growing up big and strong. Winner takes all. Alright. I think it's money. That sun thing? You're a tough one. Okay. Go ahead. Get whatever you find. You earned it. This is what I find. A vital apple. So it's 25% HP. Which is not as good as a bomb currently, but if I keep it in my bag for long enough, then it'll probably end up paying dividends. Because, you know, once you have over 100 HP, then it'll be more than a bomb. But you gotta wait until you have over 100 HP. So there's one of those, um, Audinos. Tateru. So I think I'm gonna catch that. Oh, it's red. That means don't use it if it's red. Good, so there's kind of some indication of what what's going to happen. 
super effective or not. That is most welcome. Oh no, eat log. No! No, I'm very sad. Well, choose the target. Both. All of the above. Whoa! Sick. Tenderness? Oh my god, I feel so tender! Attack down, that's fine. I'm going to use my little card now. You're going to come with me, Audino. Okay. Alright. Are Audino only female? I think that's Chansey's. Kateru! Brazilian. Cannot be knocked out due to overexertion. Okay. A neutral type. And... I will name it the thing that I keep calling it. Hooray! Now, almost all of my dudes are, are down, so... I'm going to head home. But, uh, we'll continue our adventure. We've barely gotten out the gate. <laughs> most of it was character customization and tutorial stuff, but... That's cool. Hopefully I can heal up at home. Oh, you're back! Mm -hmm. Before you disappear again, let me take care of your Temtem. -tem. Oh. Thank you so much. There, I healed them! Take care! Awesome! So we've got a lot of leveling to do. Um, I got a bunch of lobies at the moment. But I guess that's cool. Ebon's my big boy. My big gun. But yeah, this has been Temtem. -tem. I hope that you'll join us for the next time, friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Uh, check out the links in the description as well. We've got links to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, a bunch of other stuff that I use a bit less. Those three are probably the way to get at me if you want to get at me. Uh, big shout out to Nico the Legend as always for supporting on the Patreon. Massively, massively appreciated. Look, this this lady loves my uh, my big pink Adino thing. <laughs> but anyways. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll level up a little bit more and get our adventure back on the road and hopefully catch even more Temtem and meet new friends. And it's going to be awesome. So, once again, friends, this has been Temtem. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>